Well, welcome to the Pulse of Spokane. Welcome to our new studio. Glad to be downtown Spokane. And my guest today is going to be Amanda Emerson from the Sequoia Detox Center, if I get it straight. That's a lot to remember for an old guy. Um, they just opened. So we're going to talk about that right after this. If you are committed to gaining control over your addiction, we are here to help you succeed. With an all-inclusive payment structure, we make sure you get the best services possible without hidden fees or late billing. Our network of preferred providers is heavily vetted to make sure you continue your recovery in a setting you can find success in. Find us online or call confidentially seven days a week. Sequoia Detox Centers, here when you're ready. Amanda, welcome back. How are you? Good. What do you think of our new digs? I love it. Speaking of, speaking of new digs, the Sequoia Detox Center is open. Yes, finally. After three years of planning, we're, we're open. <laughs> we're Just ready. Three years. <laughs> yeah. But most most of the, the delay, and there's a delay from what, last October or so. Yeah, yeah. Right? Most of that related to the COVID and the impact it had on construction. Yes. So we yep. can't blame anyone except nope. <laughs> except maybe the Chinese or something. But I mean, it, it, it is what it is. Yes. So um, you've had a patient in already and looking for more patients, of yes. course. And, and your whole approach is different than what we've all seen all along in detox centers, right? Yeah. Let's talk about that for a moment. Yeah. I love the approach. I really do. Absolutely. So... Yeah, our, we like to think our approach is different. I think the biggest difference is that we're a standalone detox. Um, that's not something that is in this area. It's not really common anywhere. Um, most treatment centers are detox for you know two or three days, and then they go right into long-term treatment for their patients. Okay. Um, and we're really adamant about separating that detox process so that the patient can choose the next step for themselves. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A little independent thinking and not, and, and I'm going to guess that some of those other air uh, detox centers and so forth often have a relationship with the next step too. So they might be pushing that yeah. where you're more objective on what's best for the client. Yeah. Right? And I think the big thing is that addiction really strips the person of, you know, their dignity and their self-worth and their confidence and, and just their, how they feel about themselves and, yeah. and what the hope that they may have in the next step. So we really want to give that back and empower them. Um, and that's a big part of, of our program. Right. We're going to get them clear headed and, and get them, you know, physically not dependent on those substances to yes. where they can make a, a good decision and an informed decision about what's going to be best for them. Yeah. Yeah. Because the fact is I know enough to, to think that if they don't make those clear decisions and so forth, they're back in again because it's it's tough getting it's hard yeah hard to get away from that isn't it absolutely and it's it really i think detox is definitely a great first step and a hard first step into making the decision to change your life yeah um but i think that it's i i hope i guess with our program and what we're able to provide people is a, a good first step, a solid first step okay. um, in the right direction. Right. Yeah. Right. And you do at the center, you do all the counseling and the medical stuff and the whole works, don't yeah, you? So Maybe talk about that because I'm not sure I completely, <laughs> and I don't want to come experience it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so far I've been the lucky one, but, <laughs> but the fact is what does all that entail? Yeah. So what detox is at its core is really removal of any substances. So okay. um, we treat substance addiction. So we don't treat gambling or pornography or anything like that. It's okay. really um, alcohol, methamphetamines, um, any substance yeah. that you're not able to quit. So um, our program really starts with a really in-depth medical evaluation of the patient. Um, so how long you're in detox or how long you're in treatment really depends on how long you've been using that substance okay. or dependent on that substance right. and how much you've been using. Um, so we really have nursing staff who are highly skilled and ready to evaluate that. Um, and our patients within the first hour of coming to us get started on medication. Ah. So we have clinically tested medication protocols that help with the symptoms of withdrawal. So 
similar to taking medications if you have the flu it's going to help with that fever it's going to help with those headaches okay. the nausea those types of right, things right. so that um you can recover as comfortable as possible the withdrawal is not easy is it no and okay. it scares some people i think it's really yeah. scary to think about cutting cold turkey um there's a lot of dangerous health risks that come with that right um you know tremors and seizures and and just the really the physical uncomfortable it's it's painful it's terribly painful wow and it's really i think psychologically painful as well it's scary it's i was gonna emotional. say it's physically and mentally and everything right oh, yeah it's it's really rough so so that's really where we come in we have 24-hour medical support for our okay. patients um, medical monitoring um and then that medication that medication is huge in helping really overcome those initial symptoms of withdrawal and again feel well enough mentally and physically right. to start making to decisions take it on. yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. you feel really confident. have to fight it a yeah. as a patient right yeah 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 it's definitely a struggle yeah um yeah did this year this last year you know where i'm going with the pandemic and everything else has that exacerbated the whole issue of drugs and so forth Immensely. Yeah. I think, and it's twofold. I think the first thing is, um, and definitely in this area, I think a lot of people don't realize that alcohol is the number one misused substance is it really? okay. because it's legal yes. and it's easy to access. You know, even if you're not 21, it's easy to get. Yes. And, and that goes under the radar because it's not illegal unless you do something illegal under the influence. Right. right. And so, um, with COVID and people being stuck at home or isolated or more stressed because of changes to business and those types of things. Yes. I mean, or having your kids home. <laughs> oh, <God. Yeah. laughs> Alcohol sales actually went up about 200% in America, oh, which really? is huge. Yes. And that's not to say that everyone buying alcohol is addicted and has a problem, but it really shows the effect that COVID had on Americans. And I think the second part of the issue, not just the stress and the, you know, increase in access to um, alcohol and substances, though, is the isolation yeah. and centers yeah. being closed. Um, treatment centers had having to be half capacity so people can't get the treatment that they need. Oh, I haven't um, even thought about that. Yeah. So yes. the access to services also went away. And yeah. that's really huge. And I think a lot of people are still trapped in that well what do i do there's yeah. nothing i can do there's no place i can go um and that's really where we come in we want to be a safe place um part of our services is the privacy that we offer yes um and you can come to our treatment center and get treated and get you know back to work or back to your life or there's no billboard your with your picture up there. yeah exactly yeah, yeah and no one has to know that you went to treatment right yeah right right it's but it's a wrong a long struggle sometimes isn't it Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a lifelong it, it, disease. It gets a hold of you. Yeah. Physically and mentally. Yes. And so to break that is not easy. No. I admire people who can get away from that. Oh, That's yeah. a struggle that most of us never have to face. Yeah. And um, through no fault of their own, it, it, it owns them. Yeah. And I think that's a good point. I think there's this kind of connotation that we all have in the back of our man yeah. mind like if you're suffering with addiction it's your fault and yeah. it's somehow a failing on your end that you just can't stop and if you could just ignore it or look away or distract yourself yeah, go away it go will away. go away yeah. and and that's really an inhibitor to people getting treatment yeah. because there's so much shame and there's so much loss of dignity that they don't feel like they can even make that decision because everyone around them is you know sh shaming them really yeah yeah um even, the even well if they don't say anything exactly and yeah. even you know family members or spouses or yeah. children i mean people that care about you or you believe care about you yeah. um and are suddenly mad or frustrated um yeah. at you for your decisions when it's a disease it's yeah yeah it's Good. physical how do people now that you're open how do people get in touch with you and get more information? Yeah, so calling us is the best way. Okay. Um, we have beds available, um, but depending on availability, just calling, talking about the process, I think a lot of times that can be scary. Yes. Um, and a lot of times who we're talking to are our parents, our supports, our spouses, you yeah. know, people that are worried about someone. Um, so we'd love to talk you through what that looks like, what you can expect from detox okay. um, and lessen kind of that fear. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's hard to bring it up. It is hard. To it that is hard spouse to talk or that about. loved one. 
Yeah. Or a good friend even. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. Um, one of the things that we're really excited about is we just partnered with um, TRICARE and TriWest okay. um, to specifically help veterans who are suffering oh, and I those who it. are serving them. So I love it. So we're really excited to provide full coverage for veterans um, and those who have served our country to, uh, to get the treatment that they need. That is great yeah. news. Yeah, that we're is excited. great news because we care about veterans and, and those who put their lives on the line for Absolutely. our country. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, call. What's the phone number and what's the website? <laughs> so we're sequoiadetoxcenters.com and the local number is 509-418-2108. And you have yeah. people from the west side of the state, from Tri-Cities, from Montana, yeah. Idaho. It's not just Spokane Valley yep. where you're located. Yeah, so we are located in Spokane Valley, but we're really serving the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. So Oregon, Idaho, Montana, uh, obviously Washington, yes. um, and a little bit of Utah and Northern California. So All we right. want to be able to serve that entire area. That's yeah. great. Going to have you back again soon to talk about what's going on and, and some of the progress been, yeah, that's absolutely. been made. Thank you very much, Amanda Emerson from this, I got to get it right, <laughs> Sequoia Detox Center. Yep. All right. That's kind of a mouthful. Yes. It's you know. a long one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. If you are committed to gaining control over your addiction, we are here to help you succeed. With an all-inclusive payment structure, we make sure you get the best services possible without hidden fees or late billing. Our network of preferred providers is heavily vetted to make sure you continue your recovery in a setting you can find success in. Find us online or call confidentially seven days a week. Sequoia Detox Centers. Here when you're ready. What? You haven't been to the library lately? Stop in today and see that the library is more than books. Spokane County Library District facilities feature on-site technology, including Wi-Fi, computers, and printers, as well as free use of meeting rooms. The Library District offers events and programs for all ages, from story times to career development and employer classes to social security workshops. Our staff is well-trained and happy to help. Find out more about your library at scld.org. Welcome to Tom Sawyer Country Coffee. Tom Sawyer Country Coffee only roasts the finest organic coffee for our signature blends. Enjoy a cup at our coffee shop and local businesses and organizations across the region. I'm Tom Sawyer and we choose the Pacific Northwest. You're listening to the music of 68-year-old Spokane singer-songwriter Tim Brummett. I was 10 years old when I wrote my first song. Tim's new five-song EP is available on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and many more sites. And smile. Tim and his music is a success story for Spokane, and we want Spokane to hear hometown boy Tim's music. At the table, as if the sun. Thanks for watching. Ask the host a question, recommend a guest, or check out any of our other programs on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or SpokaneTalksMedia.com. Sponsored by Local 29 Firefighters Union, Well-Dressed Walrus, and Homes for You.